Hello, my name is Sean Gallagher. I'm the Chief Technical Architect with the Microsoft Technology Center in Houston, Texas. And I'm really excited to be able to join you today virtually as part of the Edison Technology Lecture Series. I have a really exciting topic today, um, which is focused on mixed reality. And so I think that this is gonna be something uh, you're gonna find really fascinating. What Microsoft is doing is looking at how we can connect the world that we inhabit physically with the digital world. And I'm gonna show you some of the things that we're doing from a technology perspective to enable that. So a key enabler for mixed reality is the intelligent cloud. The intelligent cloud provides distributed compute that can be accessed through mobile devices at what we call the intelligent edge. And mixed reality devices like the HoloLens, which we'll be looking at shortly, is an example of an intelligent edge device. And we're able to take all of the different sensors that we embed into the HoloLens and couple that with the power that we have in our intelligent cloud compute. So over time, uh, computing has evolved. We had personal computers, which provided access to computing power to many, but they were not very mobile um, and they had no contextual awareness. They didn't understand what was happening in the world um, that surrounded uh, the computer. Uh, we then moved to smartphones, which provided the ability to have access to compute on the go. Um, and with different sensors embedded in your smartphone, um, it provided some contextual awareness. But we're now entering this third wave of computing where we're able to take the power of the cloud bring it down to the intelligent edge and enable mixed reality devices. And this really is now manifesting in devices like this, um, which is uh, our HoloLens 2. And uh, this basically provides the ability now for me to have uh, awareness uh, both of my physical surroundings as well as have through the ability to look through the lenses here, um, the power of the world enabled through the intelligent cloud. There's lots of different technologies uh, available today when we're looking at how we're trying to bring digital and physical uh, together in the world that we, we exist in here. And there's a spectrum. Um, mixed reality sits right at the center of that where we're blurring both the physical world and the digital world together. Um, but there are other devices that you may encounter like virtual reality devices. Um, the differentiator here is that those completely immerse you in the digital world, whereas mixed reality devices um, allow you to really coexist in both the digital and the real world at the same time. Um, augmented reality device experiences like you may have on your smartphone um, provide a peek into the digital world, um, but they're not quite as immersive as what you have in a mixed reality device. We're at a really interesting inflection point here where in the next five years, we may see a huge increase in how mixed reality experiences are made available. Um, this may be available in social entertainment experiences for consumers, for productivity and collaboration for people in their workplace, as well as for larger enterprises for automating and standardizing processes. We're still exploring the limits of what's possible with mixed reality, but some of the interesting use cases here that we've started to really see uh, uptake on are things like remote assistance to empower employees to work together regardless of physical boundaries in the world. So if someone's in Europe and another person's in the United States, they can both collaborate and share expertise through mixed reality, um, providing training and task guidance. So as I'm walking through a process step by step, I can have mixed reality um, help me through those processes by guiding me um, with mixed reality directions as well as objects showing me um, perhaps where I need to uh, place a, a tool um, to conduct a, a uh, repair, for example. Um, so there's some really interesting things here that are happening uh, in mixed reality and really just at the very beginning of it. The potential here really is massive. Um, skilling is a huge area of concern um, as new employees are coming into the workforce. It's really important to make sure that they're able to quickly be able to get up to speed on how to conduct complex processes uh, in things like manufacturing environments. 
And so we're seeing up to a 4x improvement on the time for an employee um, to receive training through mixed reality to be able to actually um, conduct the processes. And the, the thing with this is that you can continue to be aided by mixed reality as you're going through uh, those processes. So it's not a one-time thing where you get training with it and then um, you don't have that aid available to you. Um, one thing that's interesting is there's a lot of areas where what we call first-line workers, people that are the ones actually hands-on, um, maybe assembling a piece of machinery, they had previously not had a very easy way to access um, technology while they're in some of these locations. They just don't lend themselves well to uh, locations where a typical computer where you need to have to use your hands to use a keyboard um, may not work, that it may be too obtrusive. And so having something that's hands-free, that's able to blend in uh, with the experience as you're working on something with your hands um, really is a game changer for, for these uh, use cases. So the way all of this comes together is through a device like this. And this is the HoloLens 2 uh, from Microsoft. And this has been made to be a very comfortable device that you wear on your head. And basically through uh, the lenses here, and we, we call these uh, holographic frames, that you're able to basically uh, have the mixed reality experience. Um, and this is powered, again, by the capabilities that we provide through cloud services. So let's take a look at a mixed reality application called Dynamics 365 Guides in action. This is an application that provides hands-on learning to help workers through processes that may be new to them or maybe that they're looking to optimize. Work today is more complicated than ever. The old ways of training cannot get new employees up to speed as fast as the experienced people are retiring. We need a better way forward. Introducing Dynamics 365 Guides. Simple step-by-step -step instructions are easily written on the PC, and then holographic parts and icons are simply picked up and placed on the machine where the work is happening. From day one, employees are often expected to get work done, but the complexity can be overwhelming. Now, employees can learn by doing. This is a tool that works with existing processes, allowing a manager to get the right guides to their people. The instructions move with the employees, pointing them to the tools and parts they need showing them exactly where they need to apply them. Employees get up to speed faster, with fewer errors, and more confidence. A simple glance moves them through the instructions, meaning their hands are free to do the work. They can learn at their own pace without having to rely on other workers around them. The overall experience is comfortable and intuitive. For the first time, a manager can see detailed information about how the employees are working and how their skills are growing. This makes continuous improvement faster than ever before. All of this helps employees make the complex simple, so they can learn and adapt faster and organizations can stay competitive. Hopefully you found that very exciting. 87% um, of companies uh, are currently exploring, piloting, or deploying mixed reality in their workplaces. Um, and as you can see from that video, um, there's uh, some amazing things here that are possible with this. I hope that you found this um, very exciting. There's tons of opportunity as we're embarking in the world of mixed reality. And we're just right now at the very beginning. Um, things like training development, field service, geospatial planning, uh, these are all areas that are just beginning to look at what's possible leveraging mixed reality applications. And we really need help in building this future. 
you're excited about the opportunity to build mixed reality applications, uh, Microsoft's working hard to create services to help developers build contextual applications for mixed reality, um, which will enable your applications to understand what's happening in the world around them and then blend that digital world and the physical world together for the user. Um, also to enable collaborative experiences. So regardless of whether you're on a tablet or you're on your phone or you're on a mixed reality device, that all of those devices can share a common experience uh, blending those two uh, digital and, and physical worlds together. Uh, we also are trying to ensure this is done in a way that's very safe and secure. These services exist in a lot of different layers. Um, one area that's also interesting is our cognitive services. So this is where we're providing services for developers to leverage uh, AI in their applications. So things like computer vision. So allowing your application to be able to understand what it's seeing and then interpret that and relay that information to the, the user of the mixed reality application. Um, so a lot of opportunity here for anyone interested in software development. Um, I'll also note as we uh, get to a closing point here that there's also a big uh, opportunity for people that are interested in doing um, 3D uh, design, that the mixed reality applications are very similar to developing video games, um, that you need to have 3D assets or objects that you can use um, within the application. Sound is also really important. So sound design is another area um, of importance here. Um, and to another extent, also just the whole usability experience of the applications is very important here and thinking about how things work in uh, the physical world, uh, bringing digital objects into that space. Um, and so there's a lot of different areas basically that uh, you can get involved with if you're interested in the mixed reality space. Um, but again, this is just the beginning. And so really a very exciting time to uh, potentially get into a space that's just uh, getting kicked off, but has immense opportunity. Um, so with that, I'd like to thank you very much for uh, joining me here today and uh, hope that you have a very good uh, uh, rest of your uh, lecture. All right, thank you.